Hello dear students. Today we will start our chapter number 9 of English practice book which is conditionals. What is a conditional? A conditional is a sentence or part of a sentence that expresses a condition. It usually begins with the words when, if and unless. A condition is what must happen before something else can happen let's move towards the exercise now worksheet one you can see there are many candidates who are promoting themselves for the elections now read what they promise to the voters of their particular area first if i win the election i will reduce the taxes second says if i win the election i will provide free hospital care for the elderly third one says if i win the election i will increase the salaries of the police force the fourth one says if i win the election i will create more jobs and facilitate businesses next the fifth one says if i win the election i will improve the transportation system and the next one says if i win the election i will appoint more women in government departments now look carefully at worksheet number 2 here are the people who want to cast their vote now they are the voters and they have to select the right candidate who promises to help them now kunal pays rupees 50000 as taxes so whom will kunal vote kunal will vote for the candidate who reduces his taxes next hari singh now read the statement by hari singh a police officer has to commute long distances so the answer would be hari singh will vote for the candidate who improves transportation system next Madhu Kochar has to be hospitalized many times in a year. So, Madhu Kochar will vote for the candidate who provides free hospital care for elderly. Sumita has applied for a government job. Sumita will vote for the candidate who appoints more women in government departments. Now, remember there are three types of conditionals. And here in this exercise that we have done just now it represent first kind of conditionals the first kind of conditionals are open or possible conditionals and they refer to present situations the conditions in them can be fulfilled so now we will take up the conditions in a very specific way look here carefully If I can understand conditionals I will be very happy now remember conditionals start with if and now we will study about the three conditionals that have been given in your book first type of conditionals they define the situation which is likely to happen today or in the future like there you will use simple present tense and will plus verb and with will we use always first form of the verb so the sentence structure would be if plus simple present plus will and the first form of verb look at the example if i save enough money i will buy that mansion now i have earlier told you about conditionals that a conditional is a sentence or a part of a sentence that express a condition so here the condition is if i save enough money the condition is there if i save enough money i will buy that mansion if it rains i will stay at home if he calls i will come clear so these are the conditions that are likely to happen today or in the future they are first kind of conditional then second we have second conditional 
it represent those conditions which are unlikely to happen today or in the future unlikely to happen today means they are not going to happen immediately or in the future they are unlikely to happen so the example is if i saved a lot of money i would buy that mansion and the sentence structure here would will be if plus simple past and would plus were clear these are imaginary situations in the present or future imaginary situations and then the third type of conditionals that are already past and will never happen and the sentence structure would be if plus had plus past perfect and would have plus past participle so look at the example if i had won the lottery i would have bought that mansion these type of conditions will never happen so moving further towards the first conditional we will now study about first conditionals in detail the the structure is if plus simple present and simple future means subject plus will or will not plus first form of verb and the usage is it is used to talk about possibilities in the present or in the future and the example if it rains i'll stay at home if i wake up late i'll miss the bus if i find your email i'll send you the pictures if you study hard you will pass your exams clear now move towards the exercise look here here are some superstitiousness in every house and the thoughts like a black cat crosses your path then what happens you will have a bad luck if a black cat crosses your path so the result is there you will have a bad luck and what is the condition if a black cat crosses your path you will have a good luck if you find a coin you will have a good luck if you eat curd before leaving for a test you will have a good luck if you see a falling star you will have a bad luck if your right eye flutters you will have a bad luck if someone calls out to you when you are about to leave home these are just thoughts of the people now worksheet number 4 friendship is one of the greatest gifts of life a good friend is god's blessing this is a poem title on friendship given below fill in the blanks to find out whether you are such a friend as loyal and kind and you have to take help from the help box if you are sad i'll dry your tears if you are scared i'll ease your fears If you are worried I'll give you hope if you want to give up I'll give you I'll help you cope if you are lost and can't see the light I'll be your beacon shining so bright this is my oath that I pledge to the end why you may ask because you are my friend next worksheet 5 look at the pictures and complete the sentences car repair take it in the evening now if the car is repaired i will take it in the evening second anything needed i i get it for you if anything is needed i will get it for you third my work finished i leave for london today if my work is finished i will leave for london today a boat obtain i go sailing all around If a boat is obtained, I'll go sailing all around. This is all for today. You have to complete the worksheets till we have discussed. Till then, goodbye. Take good care of yourself.